just wanted to kind of do today's kind of humor. So we we're going through and looking at um, um, uh, another DMCA notice. We're up to November or September 2015, which is great. Now, one of the things I've noticed too is that we kind of do keyword searches, right? So we're looking for Emil Sandy. And one of the things I noticed that kept on, keeps on popping up is um, this. So <laughs> I honestly don't think Emerald Sandy or Super Tramp or Crime of the Century has job uncensored Japanese porn. So this is what happens when you kind of start doing whatever keyword search they used to get this. I got no idea, probably the word uniform, um, whatever, I've got no idea. I'm sure they don't have big tits at work, has nothing to do with Super Tramp. I'm sure uncensored, big tits at work. Woodman casting has nothing to do with Super Tramp, crime of the century. So um, uh, anger management, don't know, uh, yeah, keeps on going. And it's, yeah, keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going. So when you're doing a keyword search, sometimes you're gonna end up with a bunch of stuff. And this is another one of those things where Super Tramp has absolutely nothing to do with Japanese porn or American porn or someone else's porn. And that's what makes this kind of interesting is that keyword searches can sometimes end you up in the wrong spot. Oh, good gravy. Yeah, yeah, things. So I don't know what this has to do with Super Tramp at all. Not a clue. Um, for me, this is not Super Tramp. Super Tramp was a great band from the 80s, 70s and 80s. But they have absolutely nothing to do with Big Tits at School or Anger Management or MILFs Like a Big. It's a thing. I don't get it. I'm okay with that. I don't need to get it. This is what happens when you keyword search. And I don't know what they are keyword searching on, but I honestly don't think that this has anything to do with Super Tramp. I think I'm okay with that. 